Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to take this. Ooh, my hair stuff. Every day, if you're going like from work or just running errands, and you don't have a lot of time to get ready. Um, I thought this would be helpful for Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Today's Tuesday, so Valentine's Day is on Wednesday. Um, I thought this would be great because a lot of people are working tomorrow and then maybe have plans after, but don't have a ton of time to completely change their whole look. So I'm just going to show you how to kind of take this and um, change it up a little bit just so that it's something more appropriate for night day if you want to do a little something extra. Alright, so now that I zoomed you on in, so I have pretty much everything done. Sorry, my desk is like a mess right now. Um, I'm just going to kind of do more of like a... I don't know, I really want to use this pink color kind of in the Jaclyn Hill palette. So maybe we'll use a few of those and then go into just some other palettes that I have. I um, kind of want to do something more pink but still wearable for nighttime. So I'm just going to take a couple of these two shades here and just blend them in through the crease and at any point in this look each step is its own look so you can stop wherever you feel is comfortable and appropriate for whatever you're doing and for you know, you know, deeper kind of blush and a deeper lip color and out the door you go. So now I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number no. 7 brush. It's just like a little smaller version of a blending brush. I'm going to oh, these two colors right there. I'm just going to throw it in the outer corner because I do still want this wearable so I'm not going to go super crazy with like the pink shades and whatever. Do you guys have any plans for New Year's Eve? Or not New Year's? Wow, my head's in the wrong spot. Um, Valentine's Day, comment below if you do. I do not. I'm thinking I might ask a couple girlfriends to go to dinner and do more of a girl thing just because it's like a Galentine's, but all my friends are in relationships. So I'm not expecting to do anything. Um, if I do, I'm just going to make this kind of still bring in the drama, but still kind of have it romantic, not you know, anything too harsh. Brushing those same two colors and just running it, well, not an imprint, running it on the bottom. This also is a great trick if you notice you just like can't stop your concealer. Look at the difference that makes in your eyes. If you can't stop your concealer from creasing or you know, this, as I was saying, smoking out your bottom lash line is really going to help disguise that concealer and everything from creasing or looking, you know, kind of cakey. And I'm just kind of blending the corners together out here. And a lot of blending is key. So you could stop here, you know, touch up the mascara a little bit, change the lip, leave it how it is, you know, whatever you want to do. You do it. 
Alright, so now I'm just going to kind of decide if I want to use that color. I'm going to try it. I'm just taking a sheet of brush and just packing that blush color right on the inner part. That's crazy pigmented. So you could even, you know, blend out the edges. And you could honestly leave it like that if you this what color is it? Sissy. It's gonna be this kind of pinkish gold reflect one. I'm just gonna take that on my finger. Kind of hard to get in there with my nails, but I do my best. Blending out the edges again, and I'm actually going to take it on this BH Cosmetics number no. four brush. It's similar to like the MAC packing brush, and I'm just going to build that up on my brush just so I can get in. to the inner corner there and doing the same thing on the other side I'm kind of taking it into the inner corner I will be putting another shimmer shade there and we'll take that on my Sigma pencil brush and just going to go in with this second shade here. It's really blinding. Then I'm going to deepen the look up a little bit. So I'm taking this BH Cosmetics number, what is this, number eight, number six brush. And it's teeny, 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 tiny. And I'm going to take not the black in this palette, but the shade right to the left of it. On the lower left line. Sorry if I'm out of frame, I'm trying to get close in here. And then that same brush we used earlier on the lower lash line. I'm just going to help blend it out. We don't want any harsh lines, but we want the depth in there. So you could leave it like this. Like I said, I'm kind of extreme, so I'm going to take a little bit just of that color we used on the lower lash line, just on this BH Cosmetics number no. two brush, and just put a little bit in this outer V here just to tie everything together to the lower. Sorry again if you can hear the mailman. And then taking that first blending brush we used, my that Sigma. You can leave it like this and just touch up, you know, throw some mascara to the lower lash line because during the day I don't wear Usually, if I don't have any eye makeup on, I don't wear mascara on my lower lash line. I don't like how it looks on me. So I do that, throw some more to the top. And this look is totally acceptable if you don't have, you know, lashes or anything like that and you're you know if you have last minute plans just load up the mascara i'm using the um voluminous feline by l'oreal uh, this is probably one of my favorite
favorite mascaras to use. My waterline up top. But I'm just going to um, let it transfer to the bottom because I don't want a ton on my bottom waterline. I'll just tight line. Throw on just a little more bronzer. Do that. You know, you could throw on a little more highlighter if that's, you know, what you wanted. Could leave it like this. This is totally acceptable. I love the lid. That blush underneath just gave it a little pop of pink, but then it's still wearable because it has the gold reflect in it. Um, change the lip. Um, I want to see what it looks like with something a little bit darker. So, I'm going to take a little cotton pad and then I'm trying to see if I want to do something more red So you could wear it with red, it's not my favorite. So, but here's the red. Where did I just put those little guys? Oh, here they are. So I'm going to remove that, which is some of my Garnier Micellar Water, because this one is one of those NARS. Ones and it stays. I'm gonna go, go. I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Divine Wine 762 lipstick. And then I just took my NYX lip liner in Urban Cafe just to kind of tidy up the edges a little bit. And I'm going to go in with a bit of a deeper blush. Um, just kind of match the lipstick. going to go in with that one right there. And these are super pigmented from Morphe. So I literally just dab it in one time. And then I like to take my bronzer brush again with just a little bit more bronzer. Just to tie everything together. And obviously I wouldn't wear this jean jacket, you very easily could, but I would change into something probably all black or maybe a red dress. I, depends on what I'm doing, it would probably be black. Um, so this is the finish. And you easily could throw lashes on um, just for the sake of the video to be more quick, easy, just throw on the mascara, um, change to a darker lip, and you are good to go. Thanks guys for watching, and if you want um, to see what's next, press the bell button on my channel so that you're notified every time I upload, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!